The gossip pages are reporting that the father of the baby boy that Madonna adopted from Africa is objecting to her plan to getting him, having him circumcised. So are more and more people opting not to circumcise? In Africa, yeah. Western world, we circumcise. And it's none of this guy's fucking business. You give the baby up for adoption, they get raised by new people. He's I, th I think he's entitled to still have some say over his baby. He doesn't want to see his baby butchered. He doesn't want to see it, you know... What's your dick look like? You fucking... You look, look looks like French bread? No, I got a nice lollipop. I mean, but I... I Why don't... should this kid fucking stand out in the crowd when he goes to take a fucking shower in England? Well, if that's what the father wants, Madonna could help him out. Madonna is just totally, you know, giving this father the cold shoulder, typical, you know, celebrity... Bitch, in my opinion. But she's raising his kid. His kid no, gets to go. She's raising her kid. When you adopt a kid, it's your kid now. This guy gave up the kid. He did. He wants her to take care of the kid, but I, I don't think he wants her to actually be his. Her, his you know. Do you know what adoption mother. means? Do you know what adoption means? Yeah, I think it's your kid from that point on. Legally, it's your kid. See, I, this isn't a foster home, and he's not leaving it with some people for the summer. He gave the kid up for adoption. You can't go back and go, wait a minute, those sneakers look stupid. You've got to either be the father or shut up. I really think he's confused. And I think someone from, you know... he's black? No, because he's African, and I, I, I didn't mean to sound like that. You know like what I would do if I was Madonna right now? I'd fucking throw that kid right back on his doorstep <laughs> and say, here, you feed him. Well, that wouldn't be very generous of her, or Christian-like, as she likes to think of herself. She's not even a Christian, you fucking idiot. I know, but then, you know what? I, I've thought about this. Yeah. If you're going to convert to Judaism and all that other Kabbalah shit, then give the name Madonna up. Just be someone else. You, you can't, you, you shouldn't be you're allowed to have obsessing. it. You're stupid and obsessing. No, but you know what I'll give you this? Energy. She you got be. energy. Yeah. And I appreciate it. As dumb as you are, you're swinging at fucking nothing, but you're swinging. Hey, boys. Take a look at Dave today, Spirit Award. And that's the way both of you just nod your fucking heads and like you don't even fucking hear me. I heard you. What? I heard you. Here's what I think with the um, with the circumcision oh, yeah, is that my, the kid is over one years old now. I'm starting to wonder now if you're getting into the realm of traumatizing. This isn't an infant you're going to start snipping down there. This kid's going to remember what happened. Believe me, if you were 15, you want that fucking done. <laughs> People do it all the time as adults. Do they oh, really? Yes, all the fucking time. They end up having to get it done because you get an infection. Why? Because it's fucking filthy to ha have that around. You can't keep it clean enough. See, I never understood that. You can't keep it clean. I don't get it. If you can clean your fucking elbows, the back of your shins, your ears, why couldn't you Because those places don't get dick cheese on them. <laughs> Here's uh, Toshi. You're on my face. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Speaking of black babies, I'm taking my wife to have black babies to the hospital right now. Thanks for letting me on. All right. So, uh, first baby for you, Toshi? Yes, sir. Yeah. What are you going to name the baby? Uh, Tate and Heidi. Wow. All right. Peace. What? Best of luck. Is it twins? No. One kid. Tate and Heidi? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they make up names. <laughs> it's Tate and Heidi. Oh, Tate. And it's the middle initial, I think. Uh, Chris, Chris, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, Ron. Yeah. Dave's an idiot. And Madonna started calling herself Esther. She did give up the Madonna. I've never heard the artist formerly known as Madonna like Prince did, as we discussed no, earlier. Just, Nobody would ever go back to the name thing. Esther under any circumstances. Yeah, look at it. Uh, Earl ought to know. He knows about me. Only, uh, <laughs> only one fucking rock star named Esther. Who's that? Yeah. Esther. Hoffman Howard. Oh. Who's Esther Hoffman Howard? Watch a movie. Star is born. Oh, okay. Eric, you're in Ron Fez. Hey, boys, how are you? Yeah. I, I was uh, I was uh, circumcised at 13. <coughs> it's not a pleasant experience. What's it feel like? Someone ripping the top of your dick off? <laughs> well, first of all, there's full anesthesia, and then when when you wake up. You you got to uh, there's no underwear to wear. You got to wear a robe for like three weeks. I felt like Robert Reed. <laughs> Is there a lot of blood? Uh, no, no blood. No blood. Just um, sort of like dry blood. And the first time you pee, it's like uh, I don't know, 
like coming out of a fire hose from a fire hydrant. It's really bad. Why do you piss harder? Because uh, <laughs> the fucking skin was kept keeping the piss in all those years. I no. thought he meant there was more of it. Like the no, it was it was done for religious purposes. We came here from another country, and the Jewish what country sort of Russia. Do me a favor, don't turn into a terrorist, please. I won't. And don't start the Russian mafia thing. <laughs> there is no Russian mafia. Sure, there isn't. Let's all wink at each other. <laughs> Bye bye. I can understand wanting a better life or whatever. You know, you have a dream of coming to America. But if they told me that's what was waiting for me when I got uh, when I got to the docks, I don't know how to tell you this because the American government doesn't make you get <laughs> circumcised. Yeah, but with him, it was like it was like I got here and now for religious purposes I have to do this. That's not the yeah. Well, then you then that has something. That would be the same religion that he had over there. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, Guido. Guido, you're on a fez. Oh, guys. Yeah. Listen, man, uh, the end of your foreskin has 10,000 nerve endings. Yeah. You, go, you, you can take a piece of foreskin and you can cover a football field in a couple years. It just grows. You don't get circumcised. Only Jewish people get circumcised to calm them down. It's, it's not good to get circumcised. It's a stupid thing. It's a religious bullshit. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, here's uh, Trucker. Trucker, you're on running Fez. Hey, uh, I, was, I got circumcised at 23, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me, <laughs> man. Why did you wait till 23? Because I tore my shit loose, and I had to get it circumcised. See, that's I what ends up happening to you, too. What, yeah, you develop I'm, loose skin? No, it, you tear it. It, it tears because it's on loose. The underside oh. of the head, dude, where the skin gets it's real loose. Yeah. And if you get if you get freaky dicky too long, man, the shit will tear. And I had to get mine circumcised. Yeah, anytime that you're fucking coked up and you're fucking banging through broads, next thing you know is ripping <laughs> the end of your dick. <laughs> like <laughs> having <laughs> thin <laughs> wrapping paper on there. I mean, first of all, bell bottoms are already out. Why would you fucking want that <laughs> over your fucking dick? <laughs> That's what ends up happening to you. Uh, Kurt, Kurt, you're on my fuzz. Hey, how you doing, guys? Yeah. I got circumcised in my in my thirties there, and uh, no problem. Uh, it did change a lot of the feelings, though. Uh, what kind of feelings did you have before? Uh, I had some really good feelings during sex, but it uh, it seemed like it calmed it down. I don't know. Uh, it wasn't as good after I got circumcised. I hear that from people being, because of the nerve yeah, endings being gone. That it's a lot number for us. Which tell you the truth, yeah. I need to be a little fucking numb there. I don't want to be yeah, push push come the Al Duke's banging. <laughs> I can't imagine it feeling any better. What, like, I you... want you to try having some pussy on the end of it. <laughs> You'd be fucking shocked. Uh, Fred, Fred, you're on running Fez. Yeah, I was going to tell you, I got circumcised a year ago, and I'm 30 years old because of my wife's religion. What religion is she? Uh, Jewish. Let me tell you something, my friend. It wasn't her religion. It was her preference. <laughs> well, okay, but anyway, it was... It's not a good deal. The thing just doesn't work the same. It oh, my funny. God. You know, here's the thing. We probably all have these numb dub cocks. We don't even know it. <laughs> yeah, it's not I wonder good. Why, why that some guys can't get it up. You know, I, well, we, I wonder if you ever hear about uh, uncircumcised guys needing cock pills. The wrong nerve ending got uh, sliced. Yeah, like maybe alcohol affects, you know, circumcised guys strongly. That's why we can't get it up when we drink a lot. But the guys who aren't circumcised... Oh, jeez, I didn't know. Has this been your problem? You what? can't get it up when you drink? Yeah, I think it's pretty much every guy no. has... No, they... no straight guys. It's gay guys. How often does that does happen to you every weekend? No, um, twice, twice a month. So, since we only bang four times a month. You guys only get together four times a month. Uh, fr on Fridays, yeah. So Fridays is fuck night for yeah. you and Westside. Side. Fridays is so much fun yeah. in so many ways. That's when I get to drink. When you hate to work night. Fridays? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying, wouldn't it be awful? Um, yeah, so uh, so th those are the best times. And yeah, sometimes that does happen a lot. Half the times? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, half the times. Probably uh, two out of four. I mean, and 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 sometimes when I can get it up, there's just no jism involved. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to orgasm. So you're drinking yourself till you can't even function as a person. Yeah, that kind of seems to happen a lot. 
Um, See, your problem is doing your two favorite things on the same day, because one's killing the other one. Maybe. Well, you know what I noticed uh, the other day is when she was in the shower preparing for sex, I was able to get up with um, pornography, with the assistance of pornography. Then when she got out of the shower, I, bang, I was, we were able to bang. Still didn't jizz, but at least you know I was able to get it up during the Why don't you keep the pornography going on while you're with her? Well, we don't have a TV in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. It's in the living room slash kitchen. Why don't you bang her in the living room slash kitchen? <laughs> I could, but that's where we make Wait about this. Yeah. How about you bang her once before you start fucking drinking yourself into a drunken fucking, just uh, basically unable to perform? Uh, because that would require me going back to Queens, and I like to, you know, after the show here on Friday, I like to go to the local bars. So you literally would rather be drunk than fuck. I mean, you've made a decision. You'd rather be drunk than fuck. Um, probably. It's not probably. You've already done it. You get four days a week that you can really bang. Yeah. You've given up half of them because of your drinking. I'm tired. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> You're tired from what? I'm f no, those four days that I don't bang. It's because I usually am pretty tired. I get home, whatever. Sometimes 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I don't want to... I'm tired, you know? Right. But then on Friday... Yeah, I got the Eagle flies time. on Friday. <laughs> yeah. If I can, you know, man up, so to speak, if you get catch my drift, and that doesn't always happen. Not that difficult. That doesn't always happen with the Jack and Cokes and whatnot. I think that's the problem too. It's always a hard liquor. And you know what's going to happen, and you can't put down some of the drinks before you head home. Jeff, you're on running fez. Hey, how you guys doing? Yeah. Good. Uh, you know, one thing about circumcision, though. It's just, with my experience, I would like to say that um, ladies seem to prefer a circumcised penis um, over a non-circumcised penis. They, they compliment that it's better looking, it's more attractive, they like it more. Well, that's only because that's what they've seen. That's what they're used to. That's what they've seen in magazines and in movies. So th that has to be the tendency. It's it's shown as, you know, fashion. <laughs> and the other kind it's of... tailored. So weird looking and stupid. Only because you're not used to it. I, it to totally turns me off when I'm watching a porn. And I see you like to see a nice big circumstance <laughs> cock? <laughs> no, just... Neither one should turn you on, Dave. You guys know what I mean. So the, the uncircumcised looks like something from a Star Wars movie, I think, or something. All right, peace out. Here is uh, Colby. Colby, you're, Corby, you're on running Fez. Hey, it's an honor, guys. Yeah. Hey, at uh, 21, I'm circumcised. And I think it's the best thing because I was able to have it not circumcised and then have it circumcised. And uh, it's more sensitive, feels a lot better instead of like wearing 10 rubbers. So that's weird. He's saying just the opposite. Yeah, because you, you're so sensitive and you're covered up. So, you know, when, you, when you're when you doing it, you know, it's a different feeling than it not being there, right? I don't know. I have no idea. I have nothing to compare it to. They fucking got me right away. They got me like day one. <laughs> just fucking, uh, I must have been such a freak to you. You're just born, you're laying out with this fresh dick. Next thing you know, someone's cutting it with a knife. And they don't even do anything. They don't even like give you a needle or anything. They slice into it. Right, yeah, there's no anesthetic for, for a newborn infant. None. Uh, here's uh, Lily. Lily, how are you? Hi, guys, how you doing? Yeah. Listen, I my ex boyfriend was not circumcised, and yeah. I have to be honest, yeah, yeah, it's just ugly. It's no, is really that because you hate him? No, well, no. This is a, a, this is not the recent ex boyfriend. This is another ex. Oh, I thought you meant stiff. No, no, no. He was definitely circumcised, but okay. um, yeah, they're so ugly. It is like when they're not erect and they're like flaccid. Yeah, it's like you can't even see the head of the penis, so it looks like it's like in this little pouch. It's so gross. It's, it's like, like a croissant. A huh? It's like a croissant. It comes with its yeah, own it's carrying like case. It's like a turtleneck over the penis. It's just it's So not you always say put that thing away? You're disgusting me? Uh, no, I mean, I would definitely take care of it, but it just doesn't look good, no. really. I don't know. There's Lily being honest as Davis. Does it smell like dirty or anything? Just uh, curiosity? Does it smell? No. I mean, I've never experienced any smells coming from it now it's just it's annoying because immediately following sex you'd always have to go clean it out because if you don't clean it out you can really get like a serious infection you know yeah who wants to play that game it's basically like a really? male badge that's yeah, all it is. is it's just too much hassle yeah it's too much 
Yeah. And who exactly. wants to even have a risk of an infection? Wow. And one that penicillin doesn't fucking help for a change. <laughs> All right, Lily. All right, guys. Take care. Peace out. It'd be Bye. cool, though, if you could maybe just get, like, some kind of skin implants just for a couple of days and see what like what your cock would look like uncircumcised. Like, I would try that and see, you know, Why how... Why don't you just put your dick in a croissant and see if that works <laughs> for you? All right. I could try that. I'm not sure. The, the, the breading might fall apart during intercourse. I doubt if there will be any intercourse for you. <laughs> still do spank. it on a Friday when you're so <laughs> drunk. You don't even know what to do. I still spank a lot, though. Uh, Robert, Robert, you're on my fez. Hey, guys. Um, talking about the Madonna still in the circumcision, I grew up in England, and I don't remember seeing any of the kids in the locker rooms that were uncircumcised. I think we all were over there, so that might be part of the deal for her. Yeah, I mean, that's part of the thing. You just don't want your kid to get hassled. You know, because that no. guy clicked around to me. What do you want to do? The start? And I'm like, you know, I remember the fucking hillbilly that was uncircumcised. <laughs> and everybody used to fucking fuck with him, you know? Why, why make them deal? Even though I do think it's kind of barbaric. I don't remember anyone being uncircumcised, like in gym class or anything. I never remember that coming up, so I had no idea what they were talking about. Well, you had your ass to those guys. Of course you're not going to be able to tell. You're, all you saw was their ankles. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. Anthony, you're on running Fez. Hello, boys. Yeah. I will never ever get my shit clipped. My dad had it done three times. All and right. He said never the same. No, he had a botch job the first time. Had uh, to redo it, redo it again. Botch jobs happen all the time, even the little babies. How? Yeah, well, the deal they is the fucking cut into you too hard. You're slicing into that. Uh, hey, they've sliced the fucking vein before. That yeah, just gave me the chills right there. You didn't know, you've never heard any of these things? I've, I, I've never heard of a bad botch job, no. I, have you heard of bad operations before, right? Yes. Bad fu uh, these things happen. There's a percentage that gets fucked up. Now, I know it's not a big percentage, but let's say it's one in a thousand. That's a fucking scary thing to go, ah, go ahead. Take the shot on my kid. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was a lot safer than that. Like getting your tooth pulled or something. I just thought, no one botches this fucking thing up. No, they screw up. Uh, Amos, Amos, you're on Fez. Hey, you know that comment about Lynn earlier about how she, her boyfriend had to go and clean it after sex. You mean that's Lily? Because, yeah, Lily. Yeah. That's bull because I, I'm not circumcised, and I know this kind of gross, but I was in the Marine Corps, and I was, I had sex with my girl before yeah, before I left on deployment, and I had to go a day without washing my nuts and my cock, but you know, I had to. <laughs> that's the way I had to go, but I never had any affection. I've been on, I've been, I've never been circumcised, obviously, you know. Yeah, so. but maybe it doesn't mean 100 percent of the time, you know. But like anything else in life, you got to fucking, you know, you got to be clean, brother. I don't know how to tell you. Well, I know you're a fucking baby blue marine. Well, you know, clean, <laughs> clean your shit up every once in a while. You dodged an uncircumcised well, bullet there. <laughs> Fun now, guys. Have a nice day. Peace. Hmm. I don't think it's worth taking the risk. Claire always takes a shower after a wee bang, you know, when we're able to. Just uh, wash the red off? <laughs> it must be fucking... I, I bet she cries every time after. Must feel filthy. No, I don't think she cries. But I've, I've always wondered, you know, why? I mean, why is that necessary? I don't know. Because you're disgusting. I bathe, Mr. B. Bathtub? I take a shower into a bath into a shower. Like, I take a shower, then I take a bath because I'm clean for the bath. Then after that, I need to do, you know, my shampoo and stuff. So I do a, a shower, bath, shower. I think I'm one of the cleanest people around. And the whole process takes about 45 minutes. But I bet that fucking tub water smells like potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom, Tom, you're on my Fez. Hey, I just want to say, uh, I think the British guy, you guys got it backwards. Everyone over there is uncut. In fact, we had this exchange student at my house once, and uh, she saw mine and liked the look of that, and I actually got head from it because she was so used to seeing the uh, turtle head. She was a British chick? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. See, I would think Europe was probably less likely to circumcise. Why? I don't know. I just, for some reason, I just assumed it wasn't, you know, that big a, as big a deal there as it was here. And maybe Madonna's kid would stand out being circumcised in London town. Rich kids, please. 
Uh, first of all, he's going to stand up for being a black kid, no matter what happens. <laughs> the guy's African. It's like he's going to look like Manute Bull wherever he shows up. Why not cut his dick nice and fucking keep it up high and tight to, like his fucking scalp is going to be? Uh, Doug, you're on a Fez. Hey, guys. How's it going? Yeah. Yeah, I'm the victim of a botch job. I guess when I was a day old, a uh, medical student performed the first circumcision, completely screwed it up. So the next day, a whole team of med students and a doctor came in, oh. fixed it up, and I kind of got a small head out of the deal. I don't know what happened. What? How but, small uh, is your penis head? No, it's not that small, but it's definitely, uh, compared to the shaft, it's awkwardly small. <laughs> really? Like it's been there, in a pencil not, sharpener. There's nothing worse than sitting around at, like, a family dinner and having your nieces and nephews being like, yeah, didn't you have to get circumcised twice? So. Why, why would they know that? I, my sisters talk about it all the time. It's ridiculous. Quite I, embarrassing. I don't even know why you go back for any of those dinners. <laughs> You're better off to take your little dick out of there and never even come back even again. Why would they even be near the head, for Christ's sakes? I still don't exactly know. I mean, where does the circumcision take place on your penis? It just takes place on the underside of the shaft, right? Or is, Am I wrong? Yeah, but it, it all covers the fucking head, so it's all down there. Uh, Scott, you're on my face. Yeah, we're on this, Scott. Uh, I got two things. First thing is British. It's all based on Catholic religion uh, for the circumcision. So the British are definitely circumcised because they're both all all Catholic. Also, the British aren't Catholic, so the Church of England. They're, they're Roman, Roman Catholic. No, I, I never thought so. Did you, Fez? They have bishops and all, but it's kind of a ripoff Catholic uh, religion, like Lutheran is, right? Exactly. They're Protestants. Yeah, the they Irish have vicars and yeah, the Irish are the Catholics. Okay. Yeah. They're yeah. Anglican. Uh, Bono has a beautifully uh, circumcised <laughs> cock. Just gorgeous. Also, the edges, use... they say, is phenomenal. But uh, Guy Ritchie's probably they... isn't. No, I don't think they so. Don't Guy Ritchie did it himself. Either. <laughs> they so, don't use knives anymore. They use little rings. Have you ever seen newborn babies? They use Like a rings. cigar. Yeah, it's like a cigar clip. Yeah, and they roll the skin up on put another ring over the top of it, and that's what does it. After a couple of days, it falls right off. More so, humane, I guess. Yeah, I guess, but I'm it's not, not looking forward to put my dick in no ring, but that's that's beside the point. I mean, you literally have your dick in the ringer. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not more accidents. I mean, what babies actually are able to hold still? And you're working with such a tiny, tiny area. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Fez. I didn't know. <laughs> I meant on a newborn. I don't know if you've seen any newborns. They got fucking balls that look like they're fucking camel humps. <laughs> What? Yeah, the, uh, newborn babies get giant balls, huh. gigantic balls, in proportion to the rest of the body. I don't know whether it's because you get banged up on the way in, but uh, newborn boys, giant fucking nuts. Jeez. Yeah. That's pretty disturbing, actually. No, it's just the opposite. When you're a new father, you're like, holy shit, <laughs> this is fucking great. I'm not sure I want to And they have to go, yeah, it happens a lot, you know, oh. happens all the time. <laughs> Uh, here is uh, Eric. Eric, you're on Running Fez. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. First off, I want to thank my parents for doing the right decision of getting me clipped at birth. And second, I every female I know, and I'm sure you might know the same thing, name me one female that would rather have an unclipped retard cock than a nice circumcised one. You Watch know what now. the funny thing is? Women don't spend a lot of time talking about cocks. Like, you know, they don't talk about body parts the way that we do. Like, don't talk about asses, but don't ever go, oh, this guy's got the best-looking cock. They know all cocks are ugly. All cocks, balls, it's just fucking disgusting. <laughs> they basically feel about it the way we do. By that, I mean hetero males. <laughs> They're just fucking turned off by all of them. I don't know. They shouldn't be. I think it's kind of nice-looking. I, I like to I'm look sure at mine. I'm sure you do. I, I look at mine in the mirror. By yours, you mean some other guys in a rest area? No, mine. Do you go dat mine, dat yeah. mine? The one that's fixated on me, on my body. Uh, Dan, Dan, you're on Run Fez. Hey, guys. Uh, I read about this uh, botched uh, operation back in 65, uh, and they had to raise the uh, boy as a girl its whole life with oh. hormone therapy. And uh, it was an interesting um, study of, like, gender roles because uh, nature versus nurture, because the uh, kid never wants to wear dresses or uh, pee sitting down. <laughs> so, he was fighting it off all the time, huh? Yeah, so, uh, I don't know. He still had his boy brain. 
Yeah, yeah. And, you know, just wasn't into dolls or anything. Always wanted to play with guns and stuff like that. So sure. No, it's not all... Uh, Did they know, ever build him a cock bag? No, uh, I, I, I think maybe they... It seems like that. these days, I mean, if you can come up with a fake cock for the kid, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. No. He ended up killing Why not? A they got implants ago. and stuff. What, what did he do, Dan? He ended up killing himself a couple of years ago. What was he waiting David for? David Reimer is his name. So I'll look it up. All right, I'll look it up. Send me any links on it. Okay. Fucking terrible story. That's the circumcision taking place. <laughs> Sounds awful, huh? Yeah, it does. They pour hot sauce on it after. That's the end of my show. Donk. Trip.